If you can't divest yourself against the worst versions of us, and when I say us, I'm talking about human beings. If you can't divest yourself against the worst versions of us, I don't, let me take my Patreon link down. We don't want you coming to the meetup. We want people coming to the meetup that's really, really trying to get down with dope people because guess what? There's going to be people of all races and colors that come in a rock with Anton from AntonDaniels.com. And I'm not, I'm not going to discriminate against them for you. If I got to choose them and they just so happen to be a good person and you want to align yourself with people just solely based off a of race, then I'm going to choose them over you. I'm telling you right now. I can't imagine seeing my grandmother laying on, the, laying on the floor like this. That's insane. So these are the monsters that y'all stand on cold for. Let me say that first. These are the monsters that y'all stand on cold, cold for. This is the people that y'all that y'all advocating for, right? Remember, y'all didn't say, yo, I align with people because they're a good person. Let me get this off my freaking screen. Let me show you the monster. I need to show said that yo i'm rocking with people based off a of good character remember y'all fought me for that ah skip that and time whatever y'all never said yo we don't align with everybody that's of that 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 looks a specific type of way we want our own people y'all said that i'm staying on code and that's the end of the conversation i'm telling you that if y'all don't divest yourselves asap ASAP. I'm sitting here advocating for us to move in a completely different direction. Not only did I advocate, I put my money up, I put my time up, I put my platform up. I dedicate my platform to creating a positive environment so you can get your day started correctly. Real talk. I created a whole environment, Patreon. I travel to y'all city every single month so that we can kick it, have a conversation, interact with each other, have good times. Do everything that we need to do in order to make sure that we create a, a conducive environment. No event that I've ever had has any problems. Nobody's ever gotten into an argument. Nobody's gotten into an issue. We have black, white. Everybody is there just having a good time. Everybody. Everybody is there having a good time. Networking, getting money, talking positively. Every single person that's ever interacted with us has said, yo, Anton, that is one of the best things I ever, you inspired me. I met this person. I met my wife. I met this person I'm doing business with, so on and so forth. And they fight against me. People literally fight against me creating a conducive environment for what it is that we're supposed to be doing and showing you exactly how we're supposed to be operating on a regular basis. I guarantee you that this don't this type of monster don't show up to our meet up in dc on this weekend mm -mm. real talk we vibe we have good drinks we have good times and this is the type of monster that y'all stand on cold for not my tribe not my patreon members but the people that actually stand on cold for this type of monster so i just wanted to bring that up we gonna get the monstrous people out of the way and um again make sure you subscribe to the patreon link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat but I can't. I just cannot imagine that that's being anybody that I love. I can't imagine it being somebody that's on the street. Right. Just oh, that's crazy. But he got some issues, according to uh, what I just looked up. What'd you just look up? So it says that um, he has had fourteen arrests and multiple convictions. In February 2021, he pushed a woman through a glass window. Wait, why is all his his victims women? She was not seriously injured. He pushed a woman through a glass window? Mm -hmm. But he didn't even go to jail for that. <sighs> when was that? That was in February 2021. Mm. And then it says uh, he was enrolled in a five-month inpatient treatment uh, for substance abuse. And then he spent 42 months in prison for a stabbing incident in 2010. For a stabbing incident? Mm hmm Hmm. Yeah, this guy's a monster. Yeah. He's a monster in every way, shape, and form. And um, I'm not on code for none of these suckers. I think they need to put him under the jail. I don't like the idea that this dude is out here um, egregiously um, beating the brakes off of people, off of women specifically, Asian, older women. I don't care what 
ethnicity you are. What is the hate against Asians? I was right gonna now? say, what I don't are those understand it. Other hate crimes in New York too, or am I? Off? Yeah, I mean, I think a hate crime is when you target a specific group of people. Based yeah, but off remember of, when so. they was going after Asians for a while? I mean, like, I think it's it was still happening. Crimes for them. I thought it was was it in in New York too. Or am I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea why people don't like Asians right now. I don't know either. That's weird. And you're just going to pick a whole group? So which Asians? Is it Chinese? Is it <laughs> Japanese? Is it Koreans? What is it? He don't know. He, you, you think as ignorant as he look and is, he don't know the separation between them. He probably think they all are just one one whole group. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh! And see, listen, look, look. This is look this, and this is what we talk about. Watch this. Look at this comment right here. I hope this doesn't turn into a sniper on black theme for you, black folks out here being slaughtered by the police. And Jesus Christ, if we don't stop running in the victim Olympics, why are we talking about him? What do you mean? Why are we talking about him? Because we got video footage of this man being a savage. <laughs> What is wrong with you? I'm going to talk about anybody that's a bad person. I don't care if you black, white, or any of that. I'm not on that. Listen, if you're new to the show, I'm going to tell you right now. Let me make this very, very clear. I do not align with people based off of race or color. If you a dope person and you just so happen to be black, I love you. If you a dope person and you just so happen to be white, I love you. If you a dope person and you just so happen to be Asian, I love you. If you a trash person and you just so happen to be black, I, I don't like you. I'm not going to say I hate you because I think that anybody can come back from anything, but I don't like you. If you a trash person, you happen to be white or a police officer or whatever, I'm going to separate you from the overall group in the same way that you would want everybody to separate you from the overall group. I don't rock with people based off a of race. I rock with people based off a of character. I don't care what anybody think about that. It is what it is. That's how I align myself. Some of the people that's done some of the best things in my life just so happen to be white. Some of the people that have done some of the best things in my life happen to be black. I'm not about to start talking about or making a theme based off of color. The idea is that this man is a monster. And he attacked a Asian woman in which he called her a specific name before he came in the building and he beat the brakes off of her and he hit her 125 times. That's why we talking about a specific thing. It ain't because he black. He just so happened to be black and be a trash person. If he was, I just, Jesus Christ, please don't get me riled up this morning on my first show back. Get y'all lives together, man. If you can't divest yourself against the worst versions of us, and when I say us, I'm talking about human beings. If you can't divest yourself against the worst versions of us, I don't, let me take my Patreon link down. We don't want you coming to the meetup. We want people coming to the meetup that's really, really trying to get down with dope people. Because guess what? There's going to be people of all races and colors that come in a rock with Anton from AntonDaniels.com. And I'm not, I'm not going to discriminate against them for you. If I got to choose them and they just so happen to be a good person and you want to align yourself with people just solely based off a of race, then I'm going to choose them over you. I'm telling you right now. I already didn't drew my line in the sand. I'm not rocking with people based off of the color of their skin or whether they're a woman or a man or a height or width or whatever. I don't care about that. I don't care if you're homosexual or you're heterosexual. I don't care what you are. If you are a good person, we don't necessarily have to agree on everything. I don't. I think that the majority of the people that send my Patreon, they don't agree with every single thing that I say, but they know. They know that I'm an advocate for great people. Real talk. And so when I say align yourself with a group of people that's going in the direction that you're going, these are the type of people that I'm talking about. I don't want to live in an echo chamber where everybody sounds like me and talks like me or thinks like me or come from the same background as me. I want to be around people that can help me grow and teach me something that I don't already know or learn. I want to learn how to love people even more and have a deeper connection with those that I don't even know. And when I see them the first time, it's like they kindred spirits. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for this hate junk. I'm looking for something completely different. And so when I say I divest myself against the trash and the garbage and I moved in a different direction in 2022, this is what I'm talking about. I love people. I want more for people sometimes than they want for themselves. 
And if you think that it's ever going to be based off a of color of their skin versus the content of their character, you are sadly mistaken because that's where I draw the line in the sand. So if you're looking for toxicity, you're not going to find it here. The only reason I play these type of videos is to advocate against what we not going to rock like. Using it as an example. That's my line in the sand. This old lady says, uh, why I took accountability for my bad behavior when I was 19 on yesterday's live. I was never aggressive with a man again. Keep your hands off of people. Accountability. Facts. I rock with that. I rock with that. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody just told me that the attack, uh, the hate crimes against the Asians was because of the, uh, the C word. What, the virus? Mm-hmm. Because they thought that's that they, silly, bro. Uh, <laughs> that they brought it over. Here. Now, how come y'all don't attack y'all mother for uh, what she did to y'all when y'all was younger? How come you don't hold your father accountable for what he did to you when you was younger? Mm. Mm. Listen, first talk to the people that that made you the way that you were before you start looking out the window. Get the beam out of your own eye and hold your own people accountable before you start coming out here on these YouTube streets thinking that you got a word for people. Now I got a word for people. Word. You got an ear to listen. <laughs> it's a difference. All right, let's get to, uh, see, Trail 5. Yep, I joined the Patreon for the bag talk. Nothing more, nothing less. We align on that. Let's get to this money. Let's get to this bag. You know what I'm saying? This ain't about no color or none of that. It's bag talk. Listen, if somebody got something that I need, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. So shout out to my bag chasers. Again, if you want to join the Patreon, link is in the description as well. It's pinned to the top of the chat. Let's talk about this money talk. Let's get to this bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 